friends and family, greetings, greetings. How are you? I hope that all is well with you and I hope that all is well with your family. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Okay guys, in today's video, we're gonna be doing something different, all right? First, I'm gonna let you all know how am I doing. You know, today I feel really good, you know. Um, I really don't have no joint pain whatsoever, but I am just only really, really stiff. It is finally starting to warm up. I'm to the point now to where I began to dial down on the settings, the intensity on my remote control to decrease the amount of the amplitude that I'm receiving, you know, and see how that pans out. And then I'm going to get back to the study of, you know, how far can I get without running my program since it is warmer and, you know, we're out of the season where arthritis is kicking my rump. Okay. So other than that, guys, I'm not feeling no nerve pain, um, no neuropathy flare up so far. So good. Knock on wood. Um, no joint pain for real. I would say maybe a 0.5 that don't even count. So we'll just say I'm basically pain free, you know, hopefully it'll last um for the rest of the week um we're expecting some bad weather today so we'll see how i feel in the morning but shifting gears i did get a post office box for those of you who would like to reach out to me privately you will be able to do so so feel free to take a look at the description section because i will include that information there and also on this coming saturday which will be the 16th if i'm not mistaken is going to be a digital meet and greet. That link will also be in the description section of this video, 100% free to join and interact with me and ask any question under the sun, okay? And meet other people as well. Last but not least, let me tell you guys my story about how I ended up in a situation to where I am, to where I ended up having to get a spinal cord stimulator. It started on my birthday. I went to work on my birthday doing a usual task like I always did in the line of work that I was doing. So I bent over to retrieve a camera crawler from a municipal sewer line, 45 pound camera, you know, but when I stood straight up, I felt a pop in my back guys. And immediately I felt this huge flare of pain. It felt like I got burned with a gigantic cigar. Okay, so we reported it to our safety guy. I had to go back to the office. I had to fill out all the paperwork. Then I had to go and do a urinalysis test and see the company's doctor, you know, and they told me that, hey, if this problem persists for the next week, please come back and see me. They placed me on light duty. Okay, so the problem never went away. Okay, so then they sent me for an MRI. MRI determined that I had a herniated disc and a bulging disc. The bulging disc is an L. 2 L3, the herniated disc was at L3, L4. Um, they did the conservative approach. They tried to do physical therapy, all of that stuff under the sun, but you know, it got to a point to where it got really bad. So the only option was to go in and correct the herniated disc. They didn't touch the bulging disc, but they, you know, handled the herniated disc. So I had to recover. Being on workers' compensation, guys, I would assume that they were giving me, you know, enough time to fully recover before I return to work. But unfortunately, I went in at my two-week follow-up the next day that they had sent me back to work. I had on a back brace. I had to let my car seat all the way down in my car. It was very uncomfortable. It was very unsafe for me to drive. I tried to bring this to the attention of my supervisor, but my supervisor wasn't hearing it. It's just come to work or lose your job. So I went to work. Three days later. I was on my way home. You know, I had left early because I was in pain. We're not allowed to take medication on the job. So, you know, they were flexible enough to allow me to go home so I can rest. Along the way, I was driving pretty slow and someone was behind me. And, you know, obviously they got tired of me driving slow because I was in pain. So they began to rage and they tried to pass my car. It cut me off. Clipped the front end of my bumper, tore up my headlights on my vehicle. P.S. I had just gotten that vehicle. I haven't even had it two weeks, in fact. Okay, but the surgical site from my surgery then, it was aggravated. It was puffy. It began to ooze, swole a little bit, but I didn't gain any infection or whatever. But, you know, it left me with whole body impairment. 
And not to mention, while I was at work, everyone wouldn't allow me to do anything. They tell you to make sure you're active. But when I went to work, everyone, hey, just sit here. I don't want you to do nothing to hurt yourself. And sitting in the area work all this time and I did not heal properly, you know. But to sum it all up in a nutshell, everything, it, it never returned to normal for me. I always had been in pain, you know. I hated it, but I had to go see my pain management doctor. He gave me a pain block. It lasted about 30 days. It wore off. Told him, you know, it's either come back for this or try this new thing called the Boston Scientific Spinal Cord Stimulator. So I did some research, looked on YouTube, seen some videos. Videos is years old. Technology have changed. We had new models. I want to get as much information as possible. So in the midst of all that, I went through with my trial, in which I had a successful trial. And then after that, I was permanently implanted. But during that point, I made it my business to create this series, you know, so I can document my experiences with having a spinal cord stimulator. All right. So that is what led me to this very moment. And I do thank all those who've been interacting with the channel, all the positive comments and all the positive feedback, the questions, answers, and et cetera. You know, also, if um, you're looking for more content to check out, check out Nancy Robbins journey. Um, you may see her comment, but I will also leave a link to her page in my description section. So you can go over to her channel and subscribe and check out her journey so you can get, excuse me, so you can get a point of view from a different person other than myself, because it is good to hear, you know, different journeys from different peoples that have been through different things, different walks of life, etc. So now I do thank all those who stayed until the end. And until we meet again, please stay safe, hold it in the road, and I'll catch you in the next video. All right, peace.